Hello everyone and welcome in to a special edition of the Weekly Warrior Preview. We're on location at Warrior Stadium today. We're going to go down on the field in a few minutes and meet with Coach Mark Freeman. I've got brackets and I've got a special bit of information you might want to know about Coach Mark Freeman. We'll have all that when we come back on the Weekly Warrior Preview. Mainline Heating and Air Conditioning has been providing quality products since 1989. They love giving back to the community and they service all of the greater Birmingham area. Call them today or go to MainlineHeating.com. Serenity Salon and Spa in Helena offers hair services for men and women, facials, makeup application, and waxing. Book an appointment at serenity-salonandspa.com or call 205-624-2030. Visit them at 123 8th Place in Helena. Shelby Fitz Company is a local family-owned business serving Shelby County and surrounding areas since 1989. You can count on our team of highly experienced installers to give you quality products, expert installation, and friendly customer service. For your next Fitz project, remember Shelby Fitz Company in Alabaster. For quality pest control service from an experienced and reliable company, Mr. Bugs offers residential and commercial pest and termite control service. Mr. Bugs Pest Patrol, 205-663-1919. Welcome back in, everyone. By the way, I failed to mention Donette's not here. She's a little under the weather, so I'm out in the weather, okay? So that's great. All right, I want to tell you a little something about Coach Mark Freeman that a lot of people don't know. I did a little research this week. And I've crunched some numbers that's kind of interesting. Mark Freeman has an 81.5% winning average, okay? That's including Bessemer Academy, Gulf Shores, Spanish Fort, and Thompson. He's coached in 298 games. He's won 243 of them and only lost 55. That's an 81.5% average. Why is that important? Because there's only one coach in the state of Alabama that has a better percentage than Coach Mark Freeman. That's a guy by the name of Paul Benefield who's been up at Fife for 31 years. Okay, And everybody knows that a small school, you can have powerhouses. We all know about Maplesville. We know about Fife. We know about schools like that. He's been there 31 years. He has an 858 percent winning he's only he's also coached in 387 games he's won 332 of those so everybody knows coach Paul Benefield if you've been around the HSAA at any length of time followed high school football you know about him but listen to this that's coach Mark Freeman's record is better than people like Brent Hubbard how about Rush Propes Ivan Jones who has a stadium named after him down in Foley Steve Sabaris, the former executive director of the HSAA. Fred Yancey, the legend over at Briarwood. Josh Niblett, ever heard of him? How about Buddy Anderson at Vestavia? So all these guys, folks, right down here on the field behind me, our head coach, Mark Freeman, holds the record. Now let's talk about brackets. We'll move in. As you know, we made the playoffs this year, and for uh, I don't really remember how many years in a row, but we're going to start with 7A. Foley, I'm going to give you all a 7A. Now, we're going to talk about where everybody plays. Uh, Foley and Dothan match up um, in game one. They're numbered in game one. By the way, you can go to the HSAA website and find out this bracket. So, Foley plays Dothan. Auburn plays Fairhope. Central of Phoenix City plays um, Mary Montgomery. They're out of Sims, Alabama. Baker and Enterprise will match up. Hoover is at home, of course, against Bob Jones. Hewitt Trustful will travel to Florence. And Florence, you know, we played them two or three times over the last five years. Vestavia, they go up to Austin. A lot of people say that may be the closest game in 7A. And, of course, Huntsville comes here to Warrior Stadium for our first round of playoffs. So that's 7A first round brackets. And this isn't bracketology now. This is a real bracket. So that's how we'll line up. So 
We'll be on the air on the uh, Warrior Nation Network about 6.15 on Friday night. We'll also have the tailgate show on the, uh, on the Warrior Nation Network as well. Well, I'm going to make my way down the field right now. We're going to go meet with Coach Mark Freeman while y'all watch these commercials. When we come back, I'll be down on the field with Coach Mark Freeman. Brooklyn Pharmacy on Highway 119 is a full-service pharmacy that provides top-quality products and hometown service at competitive prices. The Brooklyn family has been in business for more than 50 years and is proud to be a part of Alabaster. Hey, Warrior Nation, it's Kim Sharer with Keller Williams Metro South and Kim Sharer and Company, and I'm here with my amazing team of real estate agents who are ready to serve you in the Alabaster area. I've been a part of the Warrior Nation since the 1970s, graduated in 93. My husband graduated in 91. I'm taking it back old school with the letterman's jacket. But we're excited to serve you in this community with any real estate needs you have. And we just want to say, Go Warriors! Looking for amazing family dentistry in Alabaster? Doctors Albritton and Artavino strive to stay up to date on the latest techniques in dentistry and materials to help provide the best treatment available. From cleanings to same day crowns and even whitening, Albritton and Artavino Family Dentistry is here to serve all your dental needs. Do you have big dreams for your holiday lighting this year? Decorating the exterior of your home can result in lots of work and frustration. But with Outdoor Lighting Perspectives, you don't have to lift a finger. We are a full-service outdoor lighting company that designs, installs, removes, and even stores your holiday lights for you. To welcome your guests with holiday cheer this season, contact us for your complimentary design consultation today. All right, I told you I was going to come down to the field and meet with Coach Mark Freeman. Coach, first of all, what was that we just witnessed? It's playoff time, and that brings about the manager Olympics here. Every okay. Year. So that was Mel and CC in the first round with the 40-yard dash, best two out of three. And Mel jumped out to a 1-0 lead, and CC came back and won the next two. So CC's one up on the Olympics. So does it continue? Under, every day. Every day. Yes, so, okay. Yes. So. Then there'll be a winner that get, gets a nice prize at the end of this. All right, so we'll make sure. Will we know it by next week? It's going to go as long as we go, so yes, sir. Okay. We'll next week. All right, so we'll find out who the overall winner is. Okay, Coach, we're in the playoffs, round one. we we got a pretty tough team in Huntsville. I mean, they, they've got high highs and low lows sometimes, but they're a good football team when they're on. Well, they're on because defensively they bring six, seven, eight people, and you have to be prepared for it. And, you you know, you the offensively they got a really good quarterback. And, like I said, they – they won some games this year that you would think they would have been the underdogs, and then they slipped up from some games that they might have been a favorite in. So those are the dangerous guys. Round one is always a danger. Um, after you get to two and three, we're pretty much – you win round one, you're pretty much back to your common foes. And so it's a tough week. We've had a really good week of practicing, and our kids have been waiting on the playoffs, so now we're here. And, and I think you'll see a different team come, come next week. I think the week off at the end of the season really helps us going into this time of year, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a – you know, we, we took on a tough schedule. That schedule is going to prove to be a, a benefit for us. But, yeah, the week off is always good. We got a couple of days in last week of, of evaluating ourselves, looking at our tendencies, what we do. And so now uh, the new week starts at 0-0 going in this week. Coach, is it hard to stay focused week to, to make sure you're not looking ahead and to focus on this week and this week only? Oh, no. It, it's, it's sudden death every week, and you can't you can't overlook a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday practice because it could be your last. And so, in the past, our kids have done a really good job of focusing in on on this game. The whoever we're playing is is non is, is irrelevant. It's about getting ourselves ready to play. As you've seen, the games we've been successful in, we've taken care of ourselves. The games we were not successful in, we have not taken care of ourselves. It wasn't so much the other team was. Uh, better than us, they might have been better than us that night, but we did not take care of our business, not taking anything from anybody, but you've been around here, Jerry, a long time. We are concerned with ourselves and the game, the three losses this year, we didn't we didn't measure up to our standards. So, you know, you look at it either way. If we measure up and we play good, we got a good chance every week. 
you know, one of the things going back several years, I think it's really important that our first game of the playoff is at home. I think that's important. It brings the community out. We know we're in the playoffs. It'll be a sellout crowd kind of on our side anyway. I don't know how many Huntsville will bring. But that's always important to kind of get the community behind us as we head into what I call the real season. Yeah, you know, and that's one of the advantages of finishing first or second in your region every year is that you get a home field advantage. Uh, We could be home next week also. Truthfully, you know, things work out. You could be home every week. Uh, We could travel next week, us winning, and depending on who wins the, the game between Vestavia and Austin. But, you know what, Jerry, this time of year, just tell us where to be. And uh, it's a blessing to be in the, in the playoffs and take it one day at a time. And, and like I said, let go play ourselves and take care of our stuff. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching this week's edition of the Weekly Warrior Preview.